When I was born in Liberia, West Africa, some 44 years ago, as a three-month-old baby, my biological parents put me in a cardboard box and threw me in a community dump site and ran off. An older lady walking by the mountain of trash heard a baby crying from the trash pile. At first she thought it was a cat she was hearing, but then she stopped and said, that sounds more like a human. So she put her cane down and climbed on top of the trash heap. There was a box on top of the mountain of trash shaking. She pried it open and there was a baby in there covered in fire ants screaming. And that would be me. So she scooped me up, started yelling. Everybody from the community came out. They ran to the police station. After all the investigation, the cops could not find my parents. So she took me home to raise me along with already her elderly husband who became my papa. As they raised me along, you know, they loved me unconditionally, raised me as their own. But most of their grown children did not like me one bit. So I went through a lot of abuses, verbal, physical, molestations, and the psychological abuse that almost had me take my life or attempted three times before my 16th birthday. When I was about eight years old, my mother left and came to America for knee surgery. She couldn't go back because the Liberian Civil War started and there were no planes flying into Liberia. So my father started raising me along with himself as we grew up. When I turned 11 years old, he was killed during the war. So I began then struggling in the streets, raising myself, got recruited to become a child soldier in many ways, but you know, as God will have it, there were other plans for my life. Along the way, people helped me to stay in school. In America here, you guys got free education all the way through primary or high school. Over there, we don't have that. You have to pay your own tuition. So I paid my own tuition all the way from fourth grade until around 10th grade. I heard from my mother here in the U.S. Take that down, please. Take that down. Yes, I can. Oh, in my ear. Thank you. And so along the way, I heard from my mother here in the U.S.A., she said, there is a white lady here who wants to help you. She's heard your story. And so they began helping me. When I graduated high school as valedictorian, I got the opportunity to come to the United States. But before I came, I began asking for two people. I've always heard stories about them. And so first person I found was my biological father. I hated his gut so bad for all the pain I've gone through. I was planning to find him and pay him back. But this time, in looking for him, I was 21 years old, never seen him before. I was on a mission for my own freedom. The song you just heard me say, set my spirit free. I was on that journey, what I call a journey of forgiveness. I found him first, didn't know what he looked like, told him I forgave him. A month later, he helped me to find my mother. I was actually on the way to her office in downtown Monrovia, Liberia. I walked past her, a lady in red dress, and I only remember the red dress. When she came back to the office, the secretary said, this is the lady you're looking for. And I introduced myself. She said, yes. She said, wait, this is the lady I just passed walking down on Broad Street coming up the hill here. So I walked past my own mother, didn't know. I was really angry at her, and it's okay to be angry in the process. I met her a day later at her home, told her I forgive her. Shortly after that, I made a trip to the United States where I've been blessed to come here and attend, graduate from multiple universities. Got a family of my own, you know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so what I want to tell you in all of this here is to simply tell you, no matter what your story is, if you're on planet Earth, you've got a story. It may not be as crazy as mine, but it might be worse than mine. What I want to say to you is never give up on yourself. No matter what the journey is, no matter what stress is on the mind, no matter what or who is stressing you out, don't give up on yourself. There's so much more to you than you know. And so this song here called Never Give Up, I wrote it just for you. Hear this.
I used to dream of a life 